Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. If you're new to our channel, my name's Angie, and along with my beautiful family, I'm sharing, we're sharing our memories with you. Now, t this weekend, Lucy and I are going to a girl guide camp. Normally, I don't go. Um, I'm just a volunteer, basically. I did start doing my training, but changed, decided it wasn't for me. But because of my family daycare, I have the qualifications to go and be an adult um, helper and they needed an extra person because of their ratio so they asked me if I would come along. So we're both going. So what I thought I'd do, part of going to camp and part of the enjoyment of going to camp is actually going to the campfire, singing the songs and having some swaps to share with your friends. Now there's so many different types of um, swaps out there um, but I'm going to show you a few that, might, that the girls like, that Lucy really likes and a couple of new ones that will be related to where we're going this weekend and what we're going to be doing. So let's get started. Okay, first one I thought I'd show you is s'mores. Now s'mores, are, hopefully everybody knows what they are. They're like um, biscuit with chocolate and a marshmallow. You toast your marshmallow over the fire and then you put it all together and it makes a sandwich. So what we're going to do, so I've got some felt here. I'm going to cut just a couple of little squares. Now they don't have to be perfect. But I do like to just measure and do an approximate. So I'll cut that across there. Actually, I might just bring it this one. Okay. Alright, so now I've cut they're my biscuits. Not perfect, obviously, but that's okay. Doesn't need to be absolutely perfect. Now we are going to cut some chocolate. So I've got a darker piece. Now I could be fancy and change. Let's do that. Let's make it a little bit fancy around the edge so it looks a bit different to our biscuits. really don't need to do that but I thought I'd make it a little bit fancier today. So we've got our biscuits, we've got our chocolate that sits on the biscuit but we're missing our marshmallow. So for marshmallow, let me just see what I've got. You can either use a piece of white felt which is, works as well. Actually I might find a piece and show you or you could use what I'm going to do which is just a cotton wool because your marshmallows are pretty big and bulky. But let me just see if I can find it. It's a piece. So I'm just going to cut a square. Okay, so you can put it like this. So you've got your marshmallow. There's your biscuit. So you've got your marshmallow. You've got your chocolate and your biscuits on the outside, and that would work. Or you could do it. There's my big chunky marshmallow, and you could do it like that. So it looks a little bit more like a uh, s'more because the marshmallow is obviously quite chunky, and you can glue all that together. So let's get that glued together. We're going to make it that way. So I've got my hot glue, hot glue gun here warming up. So we're going to okay. So I'm going to put. Marshmallow one. It's a bit hard to um, hot glue onto the cotton wool, so it's better if you actually hot glue onto the felt itself. Okay. All right. So there you've got. Oh, <laughs> so there you've got your marshmallow. Some all together. But just for a bit of fun, let's pop some googly eyes on. Let's find some. I've got a bit of a collection in here. Uh, let's do one. Two will make it a bit bigger. So let's just pop a little bit of glue there. And a little bit of glue there. And I just need to find a texture. Okay. So I've got a texture. Let's see which one works the best. Mm, not too bad. 
got my eye over this. Can I just put... Oh, I can do this holding on to it. A little smiley face. Okay, there's your little... Oh, there's your little small. Now, what you need for every swap is a pin. Now, the pins help the girls pin them to their hat or to their um, banners, whatever they've got. Okay, so what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and go through all three layers and just seal it. All right, that one's ready to go. Okay, let's go on to another one. Uh, next one we'll do is a tent. I mean, when you go camping, you have a tent. We're actually not camping in tents this weekend, which is lucky because it's supposed to rain. But we have done before. So what we need is a tent shape. Okay. So we're just going to make, yeah, I like that. It's kind of like a house shape, isn't it? All right, so we're going to have that. And then we're going to go up the middle. Okay, so we've got the tent's not really in the middle, but anyway. And just for the back, we're going to have a little bit of black. Now, I need to try and measure how much black I need. So I'm just going to do... Oh, that's not Cut a little bit off. Alright, so then I can work. Well, that's quite thick. Okay, so I'm going to work here, I'm just going to trim it off around, okay, and part of this is this is going to, these are going to open so you have your tent open, okay, so let's put a bit of glue there before we do too much more. Fold that so it stays open. On this side. Both tent flaps open. Just hold it down there. Okay. So now we've got that open. Let's put some glue just around the edges. a little bit across the middle and we're going to glue that on okay so we've got that on and then for fun let's put two eyes poking out okay where's my eye container Probably could have been smaller, but you get the idea. And there is our tent. So, what do we need? A pin. Pop a pin. Oh, goodness. Doesn't want to go through. There it is. Okay. We've got somebody's eyes peeking out of the tent. <laughs> it's a cute one, hey? Okay, our next one is going to be a sleeping bag. So let's find a colour. Let's do some purple. So for the sleeping bag, we need a, a roll. So probably, I'm thinking probably two inches by maybe four inches, which is what, two and a half centimetres, no, five centimetres. Well, it's probably, it's probably only four centimetres actually. Four centimetres by about four. Let's trim that off by about eight centimetres. Now we also need some rope or string or something. So I've just got a bit of jute here. Okay, a bit of jute 
this is going to tie off our sleeping bag so I'm just going to cut a couple of pieces and because it's going to be a bit tricky to hold this in the, in the sleeping bag I'm actually going to do one knot like that so I can just thread it over kind of like an elastic band so they are ready to go okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to get our sleeping bag and we're going to roll and roll roll it up roll it up roll it up roll it up and just before the end we're going to get our glue and we're going to put a bit there and that's going to hold our sleeping bag together which you probably didn't have to worry about roll, unrolling huh, there you go so you got one and put the other one on still makes it a little bit easier anyway two and let's tie that in a knot one You could probably just leave it as ends if you wanted to, just like cut the string shorter. That wouldn't be a problem either. So you could do it either way. Okay. Alrighty. That one looked a bit better. Maybe because this is too big. There we go. That's a bit better. Let's roll that around. So let's just turn that off. That one, I think that one's probably a bit too big too. Let's trim that off as well. Alright, get our trusty old pin. And we're going to just put it in the back bit here. Okay, then you have your sleep bag, sleeping bag, all tied up, ready to go. Okay, next one. Let's try and do let's try and do a fire. Fire, okie dokie. So let's go. I need to find some sticks and then I need some red, maybe just some red and some yellow. I do have a little bit of orange, so we'll grab a bit of that too. So I've got a little bit of yellow. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut myself a couple of squares for now. So one, two, and um, I don't know how I'm going to cut a square in that. <laughs> That's what happens when you keep all your little bits. All right, we'll just use this bit. Okay, so I'm going to start with this. And what I'm going to do is try and do some sort of flame. So let's down. Kind of look like a bit like a fire. Mm. I don't know if that looks like a fire or not. I'll go in a bit. Alright, that's close enough as we're getting to a fire. So what I'm going to do now is I'm then going to put it onto the red and make it a little bit bigger. Use that one as my base. the yellow. Totally get in. got enough here. Yep, should be right. So what I might do, I'm just going to move the yellow. I'm quite happy with this, but I'm finding the red probably just a little bit too thick. So let's just trim that down. And let's go. 
Okay. So I've got that. Let's move that around a little bit. Okay. So we've got our fire. Now, for fire, to have a fire, you actually need your wood. So I've got these tiny little pipe clean, uh, pipe clean sticks, and I'm just going to cross them like that. But you know what? That would look fine. But I've got a brown marker pen here, so I'm going to colour them in so they're actually brown. So they look a little bit more like wood. Alright, so we've got two pieces of wood. So let's start by sticking our fire together. So what we might do is we might put it... Ooh, bits of felt sticking to me. Alright, let's put a bit of glue onto our fire. And pop that onto here. And then a bit onto this one. To them. Okay, so we've got a fire. Alright, so I'm just going to put a bit of glue that way. So we're going to have one that goes across there. Oh, be aware. <laughs> and we'll just pop a bit of there. We'll have one come across here. Okay, looks like a fire. So now it looks like a fire. Now, I have seen this done with pipe cleaners and sticks, but I find when Lucy had one on her hat that had um, the sticks, the sticks crumbled really quickly just by, you know, hat going into bags and stuff like that. So I think this one will work better. So, of course, you need this, oh, you need this fire to cook you some off. We probably should have done this one first, hey? <laughs> One of the favourite parts of Girl Guides is having you know, your campfire and singing your song. So there's your fire. So we've got that one done. All right, what else can we do? So the next one I'm going to do, we're going to make a torch. Okay, so this one is a torch. Now, it's pretty simple to put together, except you can't just, obviously, put your um, pin, straw piece of wood off of golf tee, so that doesn't work so well. So, we'll start with this bit. We're going to put our light on. Now, all I've got for a light is a fluor what are you, fluorescent bead. Or, what do you call it? Iridescent bead? I don't know how you call it. See But with colour. So it kind of looks like the torch light coming out. Now, you don't have to do this bit, but I actually reckon it looks better. If I just put a bit of glue there. And, oh, it's going to be fun. Tiny, tiny, tiny bead. Just a tiny, tiny, tiny bead. Doesn't matter what colour it is. Can you see it? I don't know if you can see it properly or not. Sorry. And that is your on off switch. <laughs> okay, so now I find for these ones, if you can find a pin that's just a little bit bigger, and these ones are all the same size, but I do have a whole collection here. I don't want too big, but I want too small either. I'm thinking maybe this size will work. And I'm going to open it up. And then what I'm going to do is I am going to glue this part to the bottom. I'm trying to think. Yeah, maybe I'll go that direction. So let's put some glue on there. For a bit of security, I'm going to glue over the top. Oh, kind of wasn't planning on that much. That just gives it a bit of extra protection. Take some of that off. Don't need that much. Oops. Okay, I'll just hold that for a minute. Okay, so I'm just going to squish that now that it's, it's not wet but it's not fully solid yet so I've just basically just moulded that around moulded it around I don't know if that's clear enough try and cut back a bit 
molded around so that will hold the pin on and then I can close the pin and that's right to go on somebody's hat. It's a bit screwy, but hey, it'll be fine. So there's a little torch for camp. Okay, so the next one is going to be something that's going to be part of our camp this week. So I'm going to get some brown, a little bit of brown, and let's just cut a rectangle. Now I'm going to, we're going to go canoeing, so I'm going to try, um, let's maybe loop that up and curve that one around too. Let's just make the bottom of the canoe first. You know, you can get a picture and use um, you know, clip art and stuff to give you a bit of a silhouette and an idea of how to do it. I just find it easier to do it this way. But it's a personal choice, really. Mm, like that. Okay, there's my canoe. Now, on my canoe, oh, I put water. I could put a bit of water underneath it. Why not? You know, if you're making bulk of these, you probably wouldn't want to put do all this extra stuff, but I'm not making bulk at the moment. I'm just doing a few to show you so Lucy can give them away. So let's try like that. This is a bit tricky because there's not much to hold on to. Okay, so we'll just glue that little bit of blue on the front. Keep collecting all these scrappy bits. Just a little bit on the front. Let's glue our water on. Glue, 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 glue. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, let's wait for that to dry a little bit. I'm going to hold that and I'm going to trim the blue off. Oh. So it's the same shape as our canoe. And then we need some oils, don't we? So we've got our trusty little tiny paddle pop sticks. Uh, and I'm thinking, I was going to cut them in half, but you know what? I think I'm just going to leave them as they are. So I'm just going to get a bit of glue across there. One. got yourself a little canoe. A little canoe with some oars. Some of these are really simple. They don't take very long to do. Half the time is coming up with the ideas to be honest and how you're going to do them. Okay, so there's your canoe with the oars. And I think I've got one last one to share with you. And it will be... Ooh. My bow and arrow. And we are going to do some archery. So let's take one, two, let's do three, hey? Three or should we do four? Ah, oh, might as well do four. There's four colours, why not? Okay, so we've got four pop, paddle, uh, what are they called? What are they called? Cocktail picks. Or, oh, there's another name for them, I can't think of what I'm saying. Toothpick. That's what I was thinking of. Toothpick. What colour should we make our... Here we go. We might do this bright pink. This might be the colour of our... What do you call it? What do you call them? Like the pouch that they go into. So let's just cut... Now, the key to this one is it kind of needs to be in a circle shape. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to fold it in half. Don't know, it goes that way. And I'm going to attempt. Mm, it's so thick and it's not, not working very well. My new scissors are not strong enough to, to go past it. Okay, so let's see if we can do one side. Here we can do one side. So let's just. Okay. Let me see if I can just do half. 
and then fold it and then cut. Then you always see any sort of craft really, you really do need good quality scissors. I only just bought these but obviously they're not doing the trick too well if I can't get the scissors through a double layer. Mind you this is very thick um, felt. Okay, so we've got that through. Now, so we've got half but generally it's open so I want to cut it. So there's our pouch. Okay, so there's our pouch. So I'm going to squish it so I can see where the half is. And then we need to put our things. But they're going to be way too long, so let's just cut. Oh, fair wet flying. One, two, three, and four. And we're just going to put in here some glue and we're just going to line them up so let's go one we'll try and do them at different levels two three and what about number four maybe we can move number four out okay we'll just stick them down and then we're going to put some glue around the outside fold it over and then we'll make our pouch. Okay, so you can sort of see, we might just trim that a little bit. Oops. Oh, hello torch. So there we go, we've got our archery pouch. I'm not going to worry too much about doing an, um, a target to go with it, because I think this will be enough. It's not like, I think, I'm pretty sure the kids will know exactly what it is. The only thing about this one is, Honestly, it probably could have been smaller. But I think it'll be fine for today. <sighs> pin, I'm not going on. Oh, we can do a pin through here, actually. Let's do it through here. When you get really thick um, felt, it makes it a bit tricky. So there you've got your archery pouch. Pretty cool, huh? So, we have made an archery pouch, a torch, fire, a sleeping bag, s'mores, a tent, and a canoe. How cool are they? They're so cute to hang off. I'm going to leave it there. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you got some great ideas. These can be so simple to make and you can really cut down on the time you put them in, I mean, like this one, you don't need to put a face and some eyes on it. I just thought it was cute. Um, this, you could probably just tie it and cut it. You don't need to have a bow. Like, there's all different things. You don't need the little button on the on the tour. Things like that, you just don't need. No, it just makes it look that little bit extra. <laughs> all right, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.